Good evening everybody! Today we're going to take a look at what was seemingly an unreleased Buckethead album titled Super Diorama Theatre. What happened to the album? Let's find out. Woo! In late 2002, the record company Catalyst released a promo card promoting Bermuda Triangle, the upcoming DVD Secret Recipe, and a new album, Super Diorama Theatre. Several months after the release of the promo card, Buckethead's website released this preview song from the upcoming album. Shortly after, the Super Diorama Theatre album preview was renamed Cuckoo Clock of Hell Preview. And several months later, in April 2004, the album Cuckoo Clocks of Hell was released with the untitled preview song on there, now titled Moths to Flame. So, did Super Diorama Theatre simply change its name to Cuckoo Clocks of Hell? The promo card stated that among others, friend and producer Extract would feature on the album. We recently caught up with Extract and here's what he had to say about Super Diorama Theatre. I think I was going to do a few tracks on Super Diorama Theatre. This is my memory now, I'm going way back. I thought that's what was going on, so it was a heavier sound. And then he was working, I think that was the first record he worked with Dan. And then they were programming everything, how Bucket really wanted to hear it. He kind of wanted to go, it seems like, away from the breakbeat thing to more metal programming, which I don't do. So he probably was just so stoked on that sound, he just, it became a whole record in Cuckoo Clocks and Hell. So initially, Super Diorama Theater was going to be a heavier album with hip-hop style beats similar to Bermuda Triangle. But then Buckethead met Dan Monty who co-produced his Buckethead Land 2 album and decided to go for a heavier drum and bass sound. With the same guitar track, Super Diorama Theatre was then renamed The Cuckoo Clocks of Hell and was self-released through Buckethead's own record label Disembodied. Mystery solved. Since then, Buckethead has worked with Dan Monty who has co-produced practically every Pike album to date. Glorious.